Hey boys, welcome back to the remainder of this first class match. We're back in the first class arena and we're we're we're, we're going pretty well. Um personally we bowled beautifully, five wickets in the first innings, didn't make too many runs, um, but we do have a bit of a lead, so yeah, it's still it's still on the balance, it's definitely in the balance, uh, we probably didn't go on with the bat like we should have, like obviously we didn't go too well, but then the rest of the order didn't quite push on and, and really drill home this momentum and sort of dominance but still you know there's still a trail by 50 odd runs so it's not it's not too bad i mean doherty is is there he's pretty much a free wicket for us um and then doran is actually going pretty nicely 24 of 33 as doherty is going to flick that away annoyingly uh get a couple of runs out of it but you know we're we we've had the ball on a string honestly the pitch the pitch seems pretty good in, in the first innings it was mainly a little bit of extra bounce potentially we got a few bad pad catches and a few inside edges like that is a oh, potential run out what a bit of fielding that is i think he's gone here umpy is just going to give him no uh third umpire obviously and this one it was a it was a suicidal potential run out and then doran he just he took it too casually so george, uh, george bailey is in but doherty i mean he's the He's the freebie wicked, but we got <laughs> we got Jake Doran out with with Doherty. I'm assuming he called for the single, so yeah, Doherty's pretty much given us two wickets right there. And uh, we come back into the attack here, none for five, but a couple of quick wickets uh, look like almost a catch there as uh, Ben McDermott, George Bailey, but uh, he's gone upstairs, <laughs> and George Bailey is going to be run out. Um, I don't know what's doing there, Kevin Gannon in close, I, you know, it, it's obviously a little bug with the game, but uh, good stuff here, Cameron Gannon, he's been an absolute weapon in close for us, he's taking a couple of screamers, and then this one, it was hit pretty strongly, um, hit him right on the shin, I, <laughs> he gets down, fields it, no flinching at all, I mean, Bailey, I, I, did he think it was just four runs? Not too sure. He just no awareness, and all of a sudden the Tigers four for thirty-four. They are in all sorts of trouble here. Um, you know, Ben McDermott is a very talented young player. Uh, hasn't hasn't really established himself in the in the first class cricket, but uh, right here that is that's a close shout. Potentially a little bit high. Um, Jordan Silk, the other man, he's a he's a good batter as well. Uh, definitely, definitely got some talent still. As the slider here works a treat. It might have been a little outside edge. Was it? A, it was an outside edge. So was it? I think so. Anyway, it looks like it just goes off the edge there. Yeah, it definitely goes off the edge. So it was a potential catch. Does does Pearson not get to this? He doesn't. <laughs> Oh man, Pearson has been so good for us, but there's a there's a missed opportunity, which is annoying. And then the next ball, he's just gonna just scoop away there, thick outside edge, goes for four runs. So a little bit frustrating, but I mean we've had some luck already. You know, bit of a bit of a blue, but uh, you know hopefully we can pick it up. Is Jordan Silk twenty off twelve, McDermott eight off eleven. So a little bit of a little bit of counter attack going on here, but what we get that is Jordan Silk. Just just going with the spin, it's not, it's not a bad shot, just a bit of natural variation with not, it didn't really spin, I don't think it was a slider, but it didn't, it didn't really spin that much, and I guess that's, that's always the danger with the angle of the left hander going over the wicket, the angle away, if it doesn't quite spin enough and you're looking to play through the leg side, you can easily just take the, the outside edge like it does right there. I mean, it, it, it actually turned a little bit, but he just rolled his wrist a little bit too early. A nice, a nice edge and a nice take by Pearson. So, all of a sudden, we're pretty much into the, you know, you'd probably say we're into the tail by this point. So, we look like we got this wrapped up. They uh, they still trail by 16 runs, which is crazy. You know, it, it seemed like it was it was definitely on a nice edge this game. It was, it was up in the air. It was for the, you know, whoever could really control the first half hour hour of this this innings probably had the advantage but 
unfortunately for the Tigers, and fortunately for us, the bowlers have come out and done the job, and it's it's basically game over at this point. A bit of a fight back. She, uh, uh, she in 33 off 50, and Feckety, the new man, is is hanging in there. So a little a little bit of a fight back. It looks like we'll have to have a have a bat. We uh, personally, we probably won't have to get in there and and get the hands dirty, but uh, probably have to get a few runs here. That's a pretty close shout. Feckety, he's, he's playing to his front foot there. Honestly, I thought this is plum. <laughs> I'm going to have a look at the uh, the big eye here. Look at the ball tracking. Probably the only thing is it might have hit him outside the line. And it just does. Oh, it's also missing. It, everything bounces over to but yeah, just, just not out. I thought it was pretty close and it, it definitely was close, but not quite going on to hit the stumps as Cameron Boyce is the new man, but Sheen, he's, he's crossed 50, and, you know, 50 off 73, he's, he's doing his job for the team, he's batting nicely, hanging in there, uh, and we are 1 for 40 off 11.2 overs now, so, you know, a little bit of a slog here, um, not bowling probably our best, the first innings we were exceptional in this innings, you know, a bit of, a bit of unluck, or no luck, I guess, <laughs> with the with the missed opportunity, and then you know a couple of other close close shouts, but you know that's fine as that is going to be. I think that's wicket. There we go. That's a good ball. That is a that is a ripping ball. I love wickets like that, dude. You know, I I like I I said in the first innings that I like the bat pad catches, but these ones are probably the most satisfying. You know, pitching it. The left-handers pitching it on around leg, middle stump, getting it to spin away, either bowling them or picking the outside edge. It's a, it's it's a it's a beautiful delivery, and yeah, all of a sudden it looks like the game is basically done and dusted. Joe Burns 50, Chris Lynn finishing the job as well. Win, a big win there, as you see. We pick up man the match with a fifer and. A couple of wickets in the second innings. Probably, uh, I mean, probably Burns deserved it. He got 94 and a and a 50 odd. But you know, we'll take it. We we did bowl well. I think uh, in the first innings, especially, we were the ones that really. I mean, we picked up three of the top four batters. So yeah, it was it was a big spell for us. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. Make sure to like, and I'll see you in the next one.